guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be another makeup look and we are just going to start right off i'm going to prime my eyes with the smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer and with my nyx eyeshadow base in the color skin tone you guys know this is my holy grail then i'm going to set that with the sexy mama um by the bomb it's just a translucent powder and then we're going to move on to the eyeshadow so I'm first taking this color right here, which it's a luxe eyeshadow, but it doesn't have a name on it. What you can do is you can take Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and use that. It's literally the same exact thing. And I'm just going to be taking this onto the crease with a fluffy brush. And we're just going to blend our little lives away. Blend, 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 blend. So after you've blended, we're gonna go ahead and apply a base. I'm gonna take this Anastasia Dip Pomade. It's super dry and nasty, but I'm going to be using this as a base. It is in the color Ebony, so I'm just going to apply this with a synthetic brush all over my lids. And I didn't show the color that I apply on the lids because I don't know what was wrong with me this day. I was just all over the place. And I forgot to show the eyeshadow that I'm using, but it is Mocha by Makeup Geek. And I dabbed a little bit of black eyeshadow just to intensify it and make it a lot more darker. And I'm just going to be placing that all over the lid. I'm going to start with a little, it's kind of like a fluffy brush, but it's not too fluffy. It fits perfectly on my crease, and I'm going to take a little bit of that mocha eyeshadow with a little bit of black, and I'm going to start blending that color up just so everything can be nice and smooth and so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to go back into that eyeshadow again, which technically could be Makeup Geek's um, Cocoa Bear, and I'm going to, again, just blend everything out to make sure that there are no harsh lines because it is not cute. So make sure that you go back as many times as needed and just keep blending. Now I'm going to go into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette I'm gonna, and I'm going to take these two colors right here and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner. Now this is totally optional. You can do just a little bit or you can go super dramatic like I did. I feel like this is what makes it look really nice and like grungy almost. And so feel free to use whatever orange shimmery eyeshadow that you have. I just love the combination of these two shadows. So that's what I'm using and I'm really just packing it on and almost, almost like if you're going to contour your nose, but obviously you don't want to go in that deep. And again, we're going to go in with a brush and just blend so we don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to move on to the lower lash line and I'm going to use again Makeup Geek's um, eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying that to the lower lash line to just smoke it out a little bit. I'm not going to use any black eyeliner. You totally could though and I'm just going to go back and blend that color. So again, we don't have just a streak of line on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw my eyeliner. This is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I did go pretty dramatic today with my wing or as far as you know how long it is but you can make it as short as thick or whatever you want it's totally optional I just wanted to be very dramatic with this look Since I didn't show my foundation routine or bronzer, I will have everything listed down below. So I'm going to move on right into highlighting. I'm going to take the Laura Geller 
Baked Gelato um, Highlights in Gilded Honey. I haven't used this in a minute. I was in love with it when I first got it, but now I haven't even used it. Life of a Makeup Addict. So I'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones with this big old fan brush. This is by Sedona Lace. This is my all-time favorites. I'm also going to highlight my cupid's bowl, my chin, and my nose. Well, at least the tip of my nose. And here I was trying to decide what lipstick I wanted to go with and I ended up going with ColourPop, Col what? ColourPop's Kapow Liquid Lipstick. I can't even speak today. And this is the end of the look. So after you finish applying your lipstick, you are all done. Let me know what you guys think of this look and if you do recreate it, please send me some pictures. I would love, love, love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.